should not be on there. These are our private moments. <laughs> there moments. is no privacy on tour. That's true. That's true. I've seen lots of you. Unless you make it yourself. <laughs> And by that I mean just go for a walk. Treat your dog? Wow. This ain't the whole train line. <laughs> <laughs> we drove to Spokane. And I learned how to say Spokane. My really good friends, Melissa and Meredith, live in Spokane. And they had hooked us up with this show at this burrito place, Nido Burrito, where we got free burritos. The burrito was like the size of my leg. Um, so I was very satisfied. So Spokane was cool also because yet again, we get to see our friends that we haven't seen in a super long time. Uh, that was a good night. I remember loving Needle Burrito. They had this weird blue uh, light on you while you were playing. Who came to town? I ain't come to no town. So I'm Albert. Uh, Y'all might know me as Albizi on the bass. That's how I'm introduced. Albert's been my friend since ever. Uh, we've known each other since elementary school. Um, got to know each other a little bit more in middle school. Hated each other in freshman year of high school with a passion. And then sophomore year became best friends and it's been like that ever since. He is uh, in the skates and he's a very interesting fellow. I heard about him a lot and then I saw him once in a while and then I saw him a lot and now we're friends, you know, it just kind of happened that way. So I flew in to Seattle. Everyone else had woken up in Spokane. So it was gonna be a while before they got there. Albert had a crazy story. He got off the plane and he went to some park and he was talking with these crazy junkies and I don't even know what he was saying. He was really excited to be there, play on the tour. And it was really good for the skates full band to play. It was the first and last time on the tour that the skates would play together as a full band. Um, and so that was pretty exciting. We got to have a nice time. That was awesome because I didn't have to play bass that night for the skates. Although I was doing pretty well at that point. Uh, that was pretty great getting to hang out with my best friends and my band uh, for the first time in two weeks being all excited that I fi I'm finally there and being all sad that Kate and Frisco are leaving in the morning. We went pretty wild. Party bird! Party Life is good! Life is good! Life is good! Life is good! Right. 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 They really talk about crystal meth in that song? Like, oh gosh. We went to this one place, but it was crazy crowded. A lot of us were hungry. Uh, Poppy had told me that there was a pizza place nearby. So we started walking to this pizza place and one of the guys from one of the bands that we played with was walking the opposite way, eating a pizza. Hey, look who it is! Look who it is! Mr. Mr. Spaghetti. You just came right in time. Let me look at that slice real quick. Thank you. That look all right. What's that, onion? That's some onion on there? It is. That's onion right there? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, we're doing this, we're doing this. There's a whole we're bunch of different things on there. Clearly not. It's onion slice. I love pizza, it's one of my favorite things to eat. You can't really go wrong with some dough, some sauce, and cheese. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how it goes here in Seattle, being that we're from New York, the capital of great pizza. Um, We'll see what happens, and I'm uh, looking forward to it. It was I. Right. Um, it was definitely not as good as as, as back home, uh -huh. but it was pretty good. 
for what it was. Uh -huh. um, the only thing is, I, I wonder if that was if that was like their fancy pizza because it was a little pricey. Yeah, it was a little pricey. So I wonder if that was like the best they got to offer. I, I like relax food. Because we're getting on a fucking plane tomorrow. I am gonna go home the way I go home. <laughs> what does that mean? Just gonna be the way She's just gonna go the home. That means the way tomorrow's going flight home. is gonna be me like trying to relax. Like, oh, I'm gonna close my eyes for a little bit. It feels. I don't feel good. <laughs> Come to the bathroom. Come to the bathroom. That might be how it is. I don't know. <laughs> we slept at Lita's, um, which was super nice. Lita's awesome and has a awesome dog. Um, super nice place. Lita's a boss. What can I say? She already knows. <laughs> She's the boss of bosses. The next morning, woke up. Packed up all my stuff, said goodbye to my friends, drove to the airport, got on a plane. It was really sad that they had to go. Um, they're really generous, nice people. It's our friends who we've had such a time with that like now they're going and you're just kind of like heartbroken a little bit. You know, like, don't leave. Kate had been my other non-musical person in the group, so I felt like we had some unity together, not playing <laughs> music. I always knew there was there was going to be somebody else who was not uh, performing that night. So it was surely reality came 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 back on us, and uh, they had to go. And uh, trip made us get to know each other closer, and. Uh, it's pretty cool. I appreciated the time we were with on uh, tour. Well, so it's my final night, and at first the camera was a little bit further behind me, but this has been a fantastic tour. We've seen so many beautiful things, and I've gotten to know everybody so well, and I'm so grateful for this experience, and I hope we get to do it again, and I can't wait to see you guys when we get back to the East Coast. I'm very upset that I have to leave, but I'm so excited that I get to see Charlie in front of me. It's not your last day. It's not. I'm not too excited, but I'm also excited. Wow. Okay, bye. Hey, wait, 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 wait. It's just because it's tough, you know? Being on the road all the time, sweaty butts all the time. Stop. So, second day of Seattle, uh, me and Christian had a, a day out in Seattle. It's the one, it's like the one me and Christian thing that's ever happened. <laughs> My first time hanging out with Albert, <laughs> being from Brooklyn, New York, was in Seattle, Washington. And the cool thing about this tour was like there was a lot of, a lot of firsts that I never thought I would do <laughs> in these places, almost across the country. And the first time with Albert Cohen was in Seattle, Washington, just hanging out. We were gonna go to uh, Pike Place Market. That was the plan. We did some Pokemon hunting. Most of that trip was like hanging out slash Pokemon hunting. <laughs> we saw the first Starbucks. We saw some melodica players. Uh, we did a lot of covers. Thriller danced up to a woman. Albert and I had gone to eat sushi, which was delicious. It was really, really good. So good. Not talking time, but really good. Poppy was obsessed that we needed to get, we needed to have teriyaki. You, got, you gotta have teriyaki. Didn't bother to tell us, like, no, not the dish. That's it's a restaurant name. Me, my sister, and Eamon decided to go meet up with my uncle to fix up the bus a bit. I mean, it took all day and it was super boring most of the time, but man, did we get a lot done. He starts teaching me how to like check these things, which was awesome because <laughs> Frisco had just left that day and I needed to know these things from the rest of the trip. 
He changed the filters, the air filters and the oil filter. He changed our oil. He helped us fix the brakes. Replaced our coolant. He wasn't able to flush it because he didn't have the tools for that, but he did replace the coolant. He uh, helped our air conditioner, but it was not fixed. The back air conditioner, because uh, there was like two separate systems, one in the back, one in the front, and the back one, he really didn't know how to do. Uh, he fixed the front one. We also ate lunch with him. We went to this... It looked like a supermarket place that when you walk, you go all the way into the back, they sell food though. <laughs> he ended up paying for our food, which was really nice, honestly. I did not expect that, like, so nice. Like, we did not come here for you to buy his food. After that we went back, I think it was the filters he had to put in, and then he did the speedometer light. And that's it, pretty much. We parted our ways. We thanked him for everything. He's a really good mechanic. He made us buy most of the parts for the truck, but didn't charge us for labor or anything. And usually labor is what really costs money. So, thank you, Theo. I don't know. It was a long time ago now. <laughs> I know that we hung out. I have so little to say about Seattle. Oh. I'm surprised. I thought you'd, you'd go on and on, really. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I got to see my friends. Like, <laughs> I know we had a good time doing whatever we did because I remember being like, man, it sucks that they have to be at this bus fixing while we get to chill but I can't really say much more. Leaving was super sad, because we were leaving Lita. She let us stay for a few days. And you know, I love Lita. And she was being such like a typical like mom crying when we left. <laughs> uh, but it was sad. Poppy was crying too. Don't worry, Lita. Now we headed down the road to Corvallis. I've done the trip from Seattle to Corvallis like innumerable times because I played rugby for UW in Seattle and we played against OSU in Corvallis and so I would always go down there for rugby games and so there were landmarks that you know we my team was used to pointing out like Dyke Access Road off of I-5 <laughs> and I missed it <laughs> I like knew it was coming up and then I knew right when it passed and totally didn't get to see it or take a photo or anything I was so sad. When we went to go meet up with Indiana, the person who hooked us up with the show, um, she was really nice, she was really cool. She wanted to like see the bus and look into it and everything like that. And we had a house show that was awesome. I remember it being like a really open area, the neighborhood, and we got there. People were really nice, really progressive thinking, really friendly, and uh, it was in the basement. We had a show that at the end of the show, it was a karaoke party. I know it's my destiny, oh, my soul, you're my best friend, in a world you must defend. So much fun. Me and Debbie did at least two songs together, and I did at least two songs with other people. Basically, it was just a bunch of hits, and it was awesome. But not even like hits, hits, but like hits. I don't even know how to explain. Point is, they played Aqua Candyman, and wow, that surprised me. Holy crap, I didn't think anyone liked Aqua. Besides, I'm a baby girl, I'm a baby girl. I remember I, at that point I was getting homesick. So before the show started, I just went out for a walk and I called my mom and my nephew. <laughs> my nephew hadn't seen me for a few days and like <laughs> he thought that my family was just like lying to him about me not being around. I guess he thought something else had happened to me. And he's like, Chris, I miss you. And I was like, I miss you too, bro. <laughs> we wound up staying at Indiana's house who was the one in charge of the show and 
hooked us through Corvallis DIY. Um, Indiana and Nathan have a really nice house. It's also their office for Secret Pennies Records. So we got to see like just a ton of records that are all the same. Like I've, I've never been to somebody's house and they've got like their record collection set up, but instead of a bunch of records, it's just the same record like a hundred times. So that was really odd to see, but I liked it. That was the night actually that I was like, guys, I'm asleep on the bus tonight. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, I'm asleep on the bus tonight. And I was like, what the heck? Then I'm asleep inside tonight. And then everybody was like, no, I'll sleep inside tonight. And that was a whole to do. <laughs> but... What are you doing here? Jeez. I thought we were done with all this. All right. I mean, I guess you could like, like or comment or subscribe to the channel or whatever. Get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> Beat it! <laughs>